Anime Expo 2024 was another banger convention. Tons of walking, sightseeing, and of course, wallet shrinking. This year was a game changer. The organizers did the unthinkable. They listened. They heard our voices. They solved the riddles. They punched in the numbers. They ran the simulations. They did it. They figured out the line problem. LineCon 2024 obliterated. Like clockwork, there was going to be tons of walking in this con. According to the pedometer on my phone, I walked about 20,000 steps each day while I was there. So that was about 10 miles per day. And by day three, my legs were feeling like spaghetti. That's my coworker. Shout out to him for making the trip after his eight hour graveyard shift and just slamming some beers to keep his momentum going. Just listen to him ramble on. Brand recognition. And more brand recognition as a sports team. And remember, LA got sloppy seconds for the Dodgers. And it was as the LA Dodgers fans or the New York Dodgers fans. It's, it's how it works. <laughs> Hoyoverse and whole life fans and other gotcha nerds wild around the entertainment hall. Let me take a look at this. Next song. Hmm. Next song. Hmm. Please keep it. I really, I really enjoyed yes, this song. Down. This song Thank was you. From, um, As you can see, VTubers were doing musical performances, and then you can hear security telling everyone to keep walking and not block the flow. To put it lightly, it was packed as fuck. But what did the breezeway from the North Hall into the South Hall look like? Surely this spot can't be as bad as last year's, right? Oh, I uh, guess it wasn't that bad for day one. The corridor was pretty typical. I think the line divider helped with controlling traffic like an actual road. <laughs> the next day, I went to Little Tokyo early in the morning since my friend wanted to shop early and needed to head back home. First stop, Kurosushi. This was my first time and I was colored impressed. I always heard about it and been wanting to go, but always saw that it had a two hour wait. But not this time. We got there right when they opened at 11 a.m. Right there. That's it. It's like so rare as well. <laughs> I ate a total of seven plates. My friend recommended to save them to calculate later so you don't lose track of how much you're spending. It was also my first time eating Shake Shack. I also had Daikokia and it still doesn't miss. Guys, if you ever go to Little Tokyo, this is my certified egg salad pants recommendation. Daikokia is a must go for ramen. Day two, I met with a friend I made at a previous con, and he was cosplaying at the Ark Knights cosplay gathering. Gotta be honest, I never played Ark Knights, but man, was this gathering funny as heck. One, two, three! That's it, that's it, so my friend here, he's supposed to be the Flamebringer operator, and he literally brought the fire with his moves. <laughs> Don't you think the resemblance is there? 
Major props to the guy that I assume cosplayed as a random NPC mob. I think he was the highlight of the gathering. This is coming from an outsider, by the way. <laughs> Your boy had the balls to cosplay as the pervy sage himself. Everything was going well, but then it didn't. The rest of the vid, I'm just gonna show you all the most interesting stuff I saw walking around the expo hall. Take a look at these Junji Ito merch they had. Don't worry, Gojo. We'll figure out a way to unseal you soon. This house hall lobby is known as the place where cosplayers and photographers gather for those viral cosplay videos people share online. I should know since I had my photo taken in the same place in 2022.
November Designer Con. Overall, it was another great convention. I seriously hope they keep LineCon a thing of the past and now focus on stuff in the inside, like a better panel queuing system and the artist alley carbon dioxide problem. Until then, sayonara suckers.